What's up guys? Yes! Welcome to week three of my 2019 vlogs, my weekly vlogs. You guys, I just got home. It's like, okay, I didn't just get home. I've been home for a little bit. I think I got home at like 8.30. I have no idea what time it is. What time is it? It's nine o'clock. Okay, I think I got home at like a little bit after eight. I ate some leftovers from last night. It was like pork chops. And I'm actually cooking some curry right now. I have so many HelloFresh meals I need to cook, but I've been trying to make Japanese curry for like weeks now. So this one's extra vegetable-y. I don't know what those little bubbles are. Probably bubble fats, fat bubbles. Maybe we should kind of stir it. This should be kind of at a simmer. I added tons of vegetables. There's a little bit of meat. I used a HelloFresh meat packet, one that I didn't use. I'm gonna heat this up, turn up a little bit. But this is at a simmer right now for 15 minutes. There's nine minutes left. And then I can take it off the heat, put my bricks in. That's when I'm gonna dump my potatoes. I have two potatoes, two types of potatoes, all from HelloFresh, of course, because every time I keep getting these like, on these meals, like I keep getting these like meals where you have to like mash the potatoes and I just got my potato masher in. So prior to that, I didn't have a potato masher, so I couldn't mash the potatoes, so I just didn't eat potatoes. I don't really care for potatoes that much. Um, I did get my microplane that I've been trying to get. Um, I got a new cookie sheet because I didn't have a full size one. I only had like a small one. And then I got one of these like racks. I like to cook bacon on these things, but you can also use them to bake dry cookies. Dry cookies? These cookies look burnt. What do you call it? Like, let them cool. Cooling rack. But I like to use it for baking. So, there's that whole situation. I'm watching TV, but I'm really just watching, like, YouTube that's streaming to my Chromecast because my cable line down here doesn't work right now. So I'm going to get that fixed hopefully soon. Um, I'm, I'm still digging the setup. I did push the couch back a little bit further, I think, from the last time you guys saw it. So, digging this new setup, I gotta move all of this crap upstairs. It's terrible. But, it's okay, because I'm gonna move it upstairs and that'll be out of the way. Uh, I have all of these Tariba boxes I need to unbox. I wanted to do that tonight, but I'm really tired, so I don't know if I'm going to. But I want to show you guys all this cool stuff. I bought a bunch of Amazon packages, and it's because my goddaughter and her brother, so Emma and, um, and Luke, they had a birthday party. That's the Chuck E. Cheese birthday party I went to. I didn't actually get them a gift. I got it online. So um, I got this for Emma. She likes Minnie Mouse, and it's like a band set. So there's like a drum, there's a tambourine in there, some maracas. I think she'll like that. And then I have all of these other Amazon boxes that came in today. Nothing got stolen, though. Winning! So let's see, I don't actually remember exactly what I got, but I know I put a couple orders in. Some of the stuff's coming today, some of it's coming tomorrow. Oh, I bought this for my mom. It's a fanny pack. She's going to Hong Kong, and she wanted something she called a money belt. She's probably not gonna like this one because she said that the ones that they had on Amazon were too big, but I got one just in case because she said she's gonna make one, and she leaves in a couple days, and I was like, you're gonna make a money belt? That seems interesting. Um, and then the last two items in this box they're actually storage containers for um, flour and sugar and I, these are really big. I didn't think these were gonna be this big. But I have like my pack of sugar that I don't wanna leave in the bag so I'm gonna put it in this um, reusable container. Is this the flour one? This one's really big. Oh yeah, this one's meant for flour. So I'll put my flour in there. I don't think my flour, I think my flour bag that I have is like literally gonna fill it up like this much. I probably could have gotten definitely smaller containers. So I'll have to figure out where I'm gonna put those. Box number three has one item in it and this is, um, so I got a Cuisinart like set of pots and pans. This looks super old school. Doesn't this look super old school? But what this is, this looks so old. When was this made? This box looks so old. 2017, so it's a few years old, a couple years old. So this is a big pot with a pasta steamer in it. So you like can put your pasta in here and then when you're ready to drain it, you just pull this out, I think, and then it drains the pasta. So I ended up just getting one of these because I've been cooking a lot of pasta lately. Okay, two more boxes. What do we have in here? It's making noises. Uh-oh. So some of these should be the rest of the gifts for the kids. Let's see. What do we have? So Luke, he loves numbers, and this is Moby for kids. I looked it up. It's some kind of number game for kids. I don't know. Hopefully he'll like it, but it looked cool. 
I also got him this game, Tiny Polka Dot Game. Apparently it's another numbers game for kids. He loves numbers and flashcards and stuff. I thought these were going to be bigger though. These were pretty expensive. I got microwavable mac and cheese cooker. That's for work. I'm going to bring this to my staff because they wanted mac and cheese, but I can't afford to get them like eat a bunch of Easy Mac because it's kind of expensive per cup. So I'm going to find a place where I can potentially get cheaper box mac and cheese and then they can cook it in the microwave. I got a box of now and laters. This is for me because I love now and laters and I love the grape ones that'll go on top of my Sour Patch Kids. And then the last thing, and the last thing that we have is this, well in this box, this mini mouse. That's what's making this noise. But it's a little play set for Emma. How do we... Okay, thank you. Shh. Shh, Minnie, be quiet, Minnie. Um, but yeah, this is just a play set for her. I almost threw this away. This was also in there. That's what was making it. She's also an Abby fan. So I got her this, like, wand thing. No, Minnie, be quiet. Oh, no. Shh. Minnie, shh. What's in this last box? Okay. Well, I saw this on, like... Buzzfeed, so I got one of these. These are also <laughs> rapid ramen cooker because it's also cheaper to buy the ramen packs than it is to cup of noodles. I've been buying them a cup of noodles, but I'm gonna try this and hopefully they'll be able to cook their ramen in the microwave quickly. So hopefully these, does anyone use any of these things? Do they work? Let me know. And then the last item is for Luke. So he likes trucks as well. So I got him this, you're never too young to have a remote control car. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So I got him this remote control dump truck. I hope he likes this. I think he will. I think, uh-oh, it looks like the, um, the controller kind of moved a little bit, but hopefully he likes it. It got pretty good reviews on Amazon, so yeah, we'll see. So at least I open all these packages. We're good with that. My curry has 30 seconds more before I have to take this off the heat, put in my curry bricks. And then I'll dump my potatoes in, and I think this cooks for another like 10 minutes. And then it's ready to eat, although I already ate. This is more gonna be for leftovers. I love eating leftover curry. It's one of my favorite things. I probably could cook a little bit of rice, but I actually prefer just eating curry without rice, because I don't really like rice. Um, I really want to just, to be honest, like go to bed. <laughs> I'm so tired, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna finish cooking the curry. And then I'm gonna, I need to film, I need to film videos. So I'm probably gonna film some videos, then maybe I'll go to bed. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Oh, my battery's dying, perfect timing, see? Okay, I got a new battery because I wanna be able to show you the curry when it's done. I have not had Japanese curry in actually like, I think it's been months now because I haven't had it since I went to Boston and that was in like December. But I put my curry bricks in, as you can see now that the liquid has thickened up and um, we need to cook this for 10 more minutes on, I think, low heat, on low heat. So we're basically just simmering it, but this is where I'm gonna dump my potatoes in. I have so many vegetables in here. That's probably way too many potatoes for how much curry I have, but that's okay. We're gonna mix this in. All of my bricks have, um, what do you call it, like dissolved. The smaller potatoes that I used were a little bit old. They started to almost sprout. Probably should have cut that part off, but I didn't. And we're gonna do timer, 10 minutes. It doesn't really matter since I'm not really planning on eating this tonight, but it smells so good. I, ugh, I miss curry. I miss curry. Sounds like I'm talking about Steph Curry. Like, I miss curry, but he's still around. All right, I'm gonna lay down and watch some TV, catch up on some YouTube videos, finish the curry, put it away. Maybe film videos, but probably not. I'm probably gonna go to bed and then try to wake up early tomorrow to film videos. Uh, this is going to be way after the fact, but today was actually the day that I released the news that I was going to start a second channel. So I made a second channel a couple days ago, and I've kind of been just like trying to figure out what I want to do. So I finally decided that I wanted to make the second channel and actually like tell you guys and post my vlogs on here. So I have last week's vlog that I need to post, um, so I might edit that tonight so I can post it tomorrow. But I just want to say thank you. To everyone who subscribed, <laughs> look at that picture of Mac, isn't it so funny? Um, I got home and it says that I have 903 subscribers. So in one day, I released this news at like 9.30 or something. 
um, and it's it's been less than 12 hours and I have almost a thousand subscribers so thank you so much for everyone who subscribed uh, not that this matters because you guys know like I, I do make money on my channel but uh, it's not a lot it's just enough to su help supplement some of the stuff that I buy like my subscription boxes and mystery boxes and Funko Pops and things like that but it was funny because like setting up a new YouTube channel I kind of like I haven't done it in really a, like a really long time so I was like oh how does this even work like what am I supposed to oops, what am I supposed to do and uh, when it came to the monetization like I obviously was you know planning on monetizing the channel just as like a supplement but I have to have a thousand subscribers and 40 no, 4,000 minutes of watch time. So I was like, oh, 4,000 minutes. Like, that's gonna take me like weeks to get, so. But the subscriber count is awesome because I only need 100 more and I'm there and now I just need to post videos. So I'm excited to just post videos and to be able to post like videos like this, my vlog videos where you see me at home, I'm cooking, I'm opening boxes, I'm chilling on my new couch. Yeah, see, only people who watch my vlog channel would even know because I've only talked about it on my vlog, not anywhere else. So it's been really nice though to have furniture. I wish I would have done it sooner, but that's okay. I think waiting for it made me really appreciate it a lot more. Um, still working on the setup a little bit. I think I need to get a, once I decide I want the TV here, I'll get a legitimate stand for it. But since I wasn't quite sure, um, it probably could still go all the way over there, but I like being able to watch the TV from the kitchen. And then I just need to get my cable line fixed. Once I get my cable line fixed, I think it'll be a lot cooler because then I can actually watch legitimate TV down here. I've been streaming TV from my laptop to the TV in order to watch it through the Chromecast. So, Well, I'm going to end tonight's thing here. I just filmed like 20 minutes worth today, but um, yeah, I'm going to do some stuff. I'll film more if I do stuff, but I'm, I'm planning on going to bed. I'm very tired. I'm I'm tired. I'm tired. Okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys. I just got home from work. Well, like 20 minutes ago. It's 9.30. Uh, my HelloFresh came, stuff came in. So now I currently have six meals sitting in my fridge. I need to cook them. This week I got crispy Parmesan chicken. I don't know why I got this one because I, I really hate chicken. I think it's because I wanted the couscous and the carrots to be 100% honest. Um, I got sirloin and horseradish cream sauce sandwiches or something, but I'm not gonna use the horseradish because I don't like that, but it's basically steak with vegetables and I like that. And then I have honey glazed pork tenderloin. I don't think I've had this one yet. I've had the cherry one multiple times actually now because I just cooked it. This is what I have left from last week that I need to cook. Thyme steak, which I think I'm just gonna cook just the steak and maybe the green beans because I don't really like sweet potato. And then shepherd pie, again, I don't know why I got this one. I do like shepherd pie though, but Seems like a lot of work for what it is. And then tortellini. I probably could freeze the tortellini and not eat it right now. My dad stopped by and dropped off some avocados, lemons, and tomatoes. And some juice and stuff. Like a bunch of juices. He knows I like guava juice, so he got me a bunch of guava. And then I guess these were on sale for like, I don't know if they were like a dollar each, but there was some kind of sale that he was like, oh, I'm gonna get a bunch of the juices. I was like, okay. I also got a couple of my Amazon packages in, so let's see what we got here. Okay, box number one has some strainers. I don't have any, like, I don't have a colander or strainers, so I got some of these from Amazon because I want to make my own vegetable broth. So once I boil all the vegetables, this will be perfect for that. Box number two has my other storage containers for my dried goods. That's technically a brown sugar one. I don't really know what the difference is. Like this one specifically says powdered sugar, not sure. And then, oh, this one I'm excited for. So this is an over the sink colander. So this is good for like when you have pasta or you're cooking, um, although I did just get that pasta thing, but like if you're boiling vegetables or something and you can put this on the sink and then this actually pops out like that. So it, um, it holds a good amount and then you can push it back in so that it stores flat and then these are extendable arms. I don't know how good these arms are, but yeah, that's exciting. I think my house is basically ready to go. I think I almost have all of the kitchen things that I need. Anyways, I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos and then I am going 
to probably go to bed because I'm tired, but we'll see. Hello guys, it is Saturday night and we are out. It's like midnight. Ooh, what time is it? I know. It's 12.30. No, they're only 94. 93. I don't want to. Why did you? Okay, Joey doesn't want to be on camera, but Amy can be on camera. We're at in and out We went to a dancing party. Tea. There's no food yet. Tea. I got the ketchup for all of us. I got the ketchup for all of us, and then Tea went and got more ketchup just for herself. Tea. <laughs> That's weird. We're gonna eat our in and out, and then we're gonna go. Inappropriate. Do I need what? She has hella salt. No, I don't need salt. I don't know if you want to